Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to some more F1 My Team content here today. And we are back for another episode. And so far, guys, again, I want to mention it every single time I really do these videos. But the support so far in Season 4 has been just all season long much better than I anticipated, guys. And I want to say a massive thank you for that. That means a lot to me. Um, you know, at this point, F1's been out for like six months now. So to still be doing this well in terms of video performances, I'm really, really happy about that, guys. So a massive thank you to you guys for sticking by and supporting the content also recently we've gained a lot of subs on the my team content as well which i'm really happy about because it is the main thing on the channel so uh yeah guys a massive shout out to you, all of you and uh, just for all the constant support the last episode did really well guys if you have missed it at azerbaijan then uh, go check it out guys it was a race where my pit crew went on holiday basically and if you haven't seen it then i'll leave a link up in the top right hand corner of your screen and that was only five percent of what happened in the actual video and the race so it was a crazy crazy episode possibly the race of the season um, but today we are here at canada and uh, it's going to be an interesting race weekend this one because you know last year they, they they are really slow around here this year they're a bit more on pace but we've still got a good car for us and i'm looking forward to it you know we've got a really good run of races coming up here and i feel confident to really extend our lead in the championship also in the last race russell dnf so pressure on him to try and perform this weekend and you know will mercedes respond because so far this season they've been incredibly disappointing either way guys if you're going to enjoy today's episode smash the like button and let's try and hit 900 likes guys for today episode it's a big target but i trust you guys can get me there and uh, subscribe for more content like this guys which is every other day on the channel and also other kinds of videos on my channel as well so get subscribed for that i'm trying to hit 55,000 subs guys by the end of the year so any help would be massively appreciated and uh, yeah let's get today's episode underway well here we are then guys another race weekend and we are back on the laptop as always and looking at the weather forecast we have rain forecast for the first part of the race on sunday which could be very spicy indeed we then move into the performance chart and again we're working on durability upgrades at the moment so mercedes bring upgrades for the second race in succession but again they're not quite to our level racing point still holding on to that third place with ferrari and red bull right behind them we then look at the upgrades and we've currently got an upgrade for the um, i believe it's the energy store and it's a major one um and that hopefully will arrive for the next race now again we're going to keep on doing this work because i want to make sure we get to the end of the year with the engine allocation that we have and not take any grid penalties at any point so yeah with that in mind we're doing a bit of work on that side of things of course with the brand new honda power unit that we've got this season but uh, that aside we move into the weekend and into fp2 now the reason for this is because fp1 was in the rain and you know it's kind of compromising my running really so i skipped on to fp2 instead where it was a dry session and and, um, you know people kind of ramp up the engines a little bit and show a bit more of their pace and we're going to see exactly uh, where we are in the pecking order um, done a couple of runs on mediums and soft tires as well and to be fair the car was right in the zone as we brushed the wall there through the chicane we go quickest of all in fp2 and that is everyone on the soft tires surprisingly russell nowhere near the top 15 i'm not sure what happened to george uh, but hopefully it doesn't affect his qualifying we scored about 900 r d points as well and uh, with that said we're now going to move to qualifying and uh, some small margins there of acclaim you know improvement but nothing really to consider really we'll see that at the end of the race in terms of how that improves but we move into qualifying and i can't lie it did not get off to the best start as we had a failure early on in the session and it cost me about two minutes of my running so let's see exactly what the issue is with the car right we've lost telemetry we've lost pretty much all sensor information it's being looked into now so just bear with it for a few minutes if you can please so yeah, it wasn't ideal. We lost out in a couple of minutes. Luckily, it's a very short track, so it won't affect us too much. Having said that, on my first run here, we got a little bit held up and distracted by the Red Bull. Um, it didn't cost me too much time, but I would have preferred he didn't get my way altogether. We now make our way through the chicane here, and we get very loose on the exit. We've lost the back end. We're trying to catch it. We hit the wall. Are you okay? That was a nasty hit. Turn the engine off and wait for the marshals. And in an unexpected turn of events, qualifying is over already just like that i just got a bit of overstay i tried to catch the car um you can see all the snaking and all the weaving and i tried so hard to hold on to the back end but if that wall had not been there we would have been okay if it was just grass on the inside we would have got away with it but there was a big concrete wall on the inside there and unfortunately um yeah i wasn't able to save it so unfortunately that's going to be it for qualifying luckily though russell 
does throw it on pole position, which is awesome. So he responds in the best way possible. Mercedes trying their best in second and third place to keep pace. And Leclerc in P4 for Ferrari. Worth noting, Red Bull only P5 and P7 as well. Disappointing qualifying from them. But we are going to start from the back of the grid. P22 for the Canadian Grand Prix. We've got it all to do, guys, in the race. Again, it's not terrible we've done a lot of comebacks this season from lower grid positions anyway so uh, we can definitely turn this around but it's not going to be ideal with the rain as well at the start of the race so guys buckle yourselves in it's going to be a crazy race and just like baku there's going to be action all over the place so guys that's it for qualifying we're now going to move into the race for the canadian grand prix Bonjour, it's time once again to go racing here in Montreal, the second largest French-speaking city in the world and home since 1978 to the Canadian Grand Prix. It's a tricky circuit to tackle in wet conditions, with top speed still of critical importance down the long back straight. There are 2.7 miles and 14 corners overall on a circuit that in the dry can see average lap speeds of around 130 miles per hour. We'll be lucky to get anywhere near that today. And with me as usual is Anthony Davidson. Let's talk about Martinez. They're starting towards the back of the field today in a car that is fast. So they'll be disappointed, won't they? It's not a nice feeling, I promise you. They've got a quick car underneath them, but they've got onto the grid today and they need a pair of binoculars to see the start lights. They'll be desperate for a good start to make up for some of that deficit. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. George Russell did very well in qualifying yesterday and will start today's race from pole position. And Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Hamilton, Leclerc, Daniel Kvyat and Albon. Stroll, Gasly, Vettel, and Sergio Perez. Magnussen, Sainz, Esteban Ocon, and Norris. Verstappen, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. De Vries, Jack Aitken, and Antonio Giovinazzi. Grosjean, Latifi, Schumacher, and Martinez. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head to trackside for today's race. Well guys, we have a huge mountain to climb here today starting from last place p22 and it's going to be a very difficult race it's currently raining intermediate conditions for the start of the race here at canada it's going to be pretty short in terms of the rain i don't think it's going to last too long so we'll be keeping an eye for the dry weather so we can switch onto dry tires and then the actual strategy itself on the dry is going to be very important whether we one stop it or two stop it or no stop it so um yeah, the, this switch from inters to drives is going to be really, really important. Now, in terms of the actual race in itself, um, we've got to try and make some overtakes. We've got to make some progress, be aggressive, get the elbows out and try and make some quick recovery. If we could try and get, you know, near the top 10 by the time we switch to drives, we could really be in the race. I feel like we've got a good car as always and the race pace is strong. So in terms of strategy, of course, we're going to start in the inters. No real surprises there. Fuel-wise, I'm going to probably go pretty much as low as possible 35.5 um i can't go any lower than this i believe so yeah overall we're going to try and do our best i still feel confident you know we won the last race from p17 so anything to play for and we can definitely still do bits here today so yeah guys let's jump into it and let's get the canadian grand prix underway right here we go i'm going to run it into lean revs as the lights come on getting those revs built up lights out and away we go little bit cautious on the start there Looks like the AI actually got off really well, so fair play to them. Into the first corner. Just going to wait a li little bit. Just be patient. We'll go to the outside now. Into turn two. Has to my right along with the Williams. It's three wide here. Trying to get the traction down. Looks like we're just about going to get them both, I think. I think Latifi's still there, but we're going to just edge in front. We've got uh, Aitken ahead of us in the Alfa Romeo. We're going to get him easily on the brakes into this corner so that's another place down so already up to p18 just flying through at the minute and so we've got a red bull actually in p15 so i'm guessing some kind of a grid penalty as we're now behind giovanazzi i wonder if we can go for a bit of a dive on the brakes here into the hairpin 
I'm not that close, but we should still be okay. Oh my goodness, Major Ren actually moves in the break zone. Luckily, we, we react in time. Still going to go down the inside here, but that was a late move on the braking from the Italian. End of lap one, though. Up the P17 already, so pretty much where we started at Baku. And look at the speed here as we close up to De Vries. Look at this. Absolutely flying on the back straight. We're going to just force him to go defensive. We can maybe get a cut back through here at the final corner. Trying to get that traction, which we do. Now using the overtake. Here we come. Down the inside. Job done. P16 already. Into the hairpin. You're getting very close to the snapping here. I'm trying to set up some form of a cutback. To see if I can get the drive out of here. Struggling a little bit to get traction, but we're still pretty close. We know the straight line speed is very good. And look at this. We're just going to breeze past the red ball. It looks like we have DRS, but we don't. And we're up to P15. We can now go about getting past the McLaren here of Lando Norris. I wonder if we can get him into turn one. Another good run through the chicane. And now we use our straight line speed. We need to go down the inside. Yep. Nice move so far. We're making light work of the field. Every move so far that I've attempted has come off for us, which is great. So we're flying here. This is exactly what we need, especially in these conditions. You know, before we go into dry conditions, we need to be up there. Jeez Louise. Same move as last time through the hairpin. We're going to try and get that little cut back to get the drive off the corner. We know how good the Renaults are on the straight, but we're on the back of this car a lot earlier than we were with the Verstappen on the last lap, and we just walked past again. I don't know what setup that AI have gone for, but mine is so quick on the straight. So that's another car down. We've now got a racing point up next, and this is Kevin Magnussen. Unfortunately, I'm not close enough to make the move this time into turn one, but we're still flying. New personal best. Pace is really strong, and uh, the leader's not really putting away that much, so we are well and truly in the mix in this race. Already P13 after four laps. Oh, getting very close to the racing point of Magnussen on the braking there. I've got a run. I might be able to actually pass him into the hairpin, it looks like. This could be close. Magnussen goes defensive, but we're having none of it. Down the inside we go. Nice little block pass as well, stopping him from going around the outside of us and hanging it there. The track is starting to dry out as well, I can tell by the surface. Let's try and get signs here. If we just keep it an overtake and run it all the way down this straight, we'll close up and then we'll try and challenge him into turn one. I'm just so good on the braking. The confidence I have compared to these guys is just so much better, basically. There's no comparison. Here we come, though. Going to challenge Carlos. Hmm, not quite close enough. I thought I would have had a bit more there on the straight, but signs holds on nicely. We we're going to keep the pressure on him. This isn't over yet. I thought about it. Science goes defensive. Again, just wasted no time with these overtakes. Want to get these done. Then we've got a nice bit of clean air until we reach Vettel. Yeah, but the rain is stopping, I can tell. Let's get past Science. Come on, let's keep this pressure on. Not quite got enough into here, but. We just nail this section, get the drive. We can get him down towards the hairpin like we do with Magnussen. Here we come. Look at the speed. Can I get it slowed down? Yes, I can. Down the inside. Easy stuff. P11 already. We've already cut through half the field in five laps. Let's go after Sebastian Vettel. Absolutely flying on this lap here. As the rain has now stopped, we're going to set a new fastest lap of the Grand Prix. 18.2 really good pace cars working well we're now waiting for that time to switch onto the dry tires okay here we go we're closing in on Vettel we know the Ferrari is one of the worst cars in terms of straight line speed in this career mode so I'm expecting this to be relatively straightforward but I could be wrong I'm also debating what tire to go for look at the rear tire wear I'm using the rears a lot here we go we're closing again on Seb we're gonna pull to the right hand side Vettel give me a tight squeeze, but we're going to crawl through anyways. Luckily, no wheel damage as we bang tyres into that chicane. P10 now, and in the points already. Uh, we'll go for that. I'm happy with that decision. DRS now enabled. We may have to stack, though. Russell's in the lead. He's quite a way ahead, but the way the pit crews are in this game, they are so slow 
to react to a stack to a second car. I'm going to pit anyway because I was not losing too much time, but it's not going to be ideal. That's George Pitts from the lead. Alright, here we go, let's push. Onto mediums, we're going to go. Easy does it. Okay, the stewards have now enabled DRS. DRS is now online. Yep, that's. George is in the pits. George in the pits. To be expected. Right, we might gain a few places here. I think cars might get held up. This stop has to be perfect, but again, because of the delays, they're going to be a shame. Complete. Go now. Damn, I lost a lot. Luckily, we're still ahead of Vettel, but I was ashamed that the two first stop wasn't actually that bad. We'll be doing one more stop today. One stop left in our strategy. A 3.9 was pretty decent, to be fair. So um, I, I was a bit slow, and uh, they got the timing wrong in terms of the pull away, which was a shame. So anyway, no, no real concern. I knew it was going to be a dodgy stop anyway, so I'm not too fast. Still P11, lost the place, but I believe someone's still yet to pit on the intermediate, so we'll gain that place back. So, technically, we've not lost anything, but now we can push on and uh, get on with our race in the dry conditions and see what kind of pace we have in these. <laughs> George Russell, new fastest lap on the outlap. <laughs> Bottas beats it, that's insane. All right, Norris pits for McLaren off those intermediates. Just trying to get used to the conditions here. The AI are a bit quicker than me. Looks like we've got Stroll as well, actually, leaving the pit exit right now. Stroll will get out ahead of us, but we've gained quite a lot on him, having to stay out one more lap to hurt him quite badly. Let's try and get after him. Here we go then, I've got DRS on Lance. Obviously, we're not going to get past just now, we're a bit too far away, but we can get him... If we get the run through the chicane, we can get him into turn one. Let's try and get the line right through here. That's not too bad, not my best line, but we might still get away with it. Here we go. Strolls out of VRS. Not quite close enough, unfortunately. Okay, this should be the one. We're a lot closer this time. If I can just get the drive out of here, which we do. Let's try and get past the Alpha Tauri. Using a lot of the ERS. We've got a good difference in straight line speed. Down the inside into the final chicane. And there we go, we're through. Obviously, I'm going to cut the corner a little bit because otherwise we're going to have a big crash. But there we go. We're through. P9. Oh, we're getting very close to the racing point there of Sergio Perez. It's going to be tricky to get this move done because he's got DRS on Gasly in front. I might just wait a little bit. I'll use some of the ERS to stay close, but I might try and get him into the first corner. Let's see if I can get the run through here. So about a nail in the chicane, which we do this time. That was a much better run. Here we go, coming through. Oh, that wasn't able to do it there. I tried it on the brakes, but the AI have improved now. Unlike in the wet and the dry, they're a bit better on the brakes, so it's going to be trickier. This could be the one, though, right here. This could be it. Catch him out, maybe. Oh, what a move. Managed to catch Perez napping there and using a lot of inside curb to get that moved on. Let's try and get DRS on Gasly here. Detection zone coming right up. I want to make sure I'm within a second, which I am. There we go. Crucial stuff. I'm flying. I've got so much pace here. It's unbelievable. There is so much grip, at least for me anyways. The car just, just turns in so easily. And through the corners, I've got so much momentum. Can we get Gasly here as well like we did with Perez? Looks like we're not as close. Gasly getting a pretty good exit there. I think he knew what was going to happen, and he reacted nicely. Oh, that was perfect. Nice and aggressive on that left curb. Let's keep this pressure on. This is going to be an easy move. Try and stay nice and tight through here. There we go. This is it now. We'll line up Gasly for the move. Out of the hairpin. A little bit wide. A little bit of a cut back there to get that traction down. Accidentally in overtake mode. I forgot to turn that off. So traction wasn't perfect, but we're going to get it anyway. Here we go. Just keep it flat out on the racing line. And we're through. Just like that. And ahead of Pierre Gasly. And we're now up to P7 in the Canadian Grand Prix. Well, here we are again then in another DRS train. Being led once again by an Alpha Tauri. So, seems like there's a bit of a recurring theme this year. And also another recurring theme is Albon outperforming Verstappen. Once again, Albon punching way higher than his teammate. 
We're currently we're stuck behind Lewis and there's not really anywhere we can go. Um, the DRS effect is very strong, so I'm going to have to try something different as the tire wear is starting to kick in a little bit on these tires now. Oh, that was close. I might actually work out for us there. Oh, yes, it does. Oh, what a move. Yes, sir. What an incredible overtake. Accidentally running a bit hot on the brakes and almost hit the back of Hamilton worked out for us in terms of getting the move done. So, got past Lewis much easier and more unexpectedly than I thought. Now we can focus on getting past Alex Albon and then Danny Kafia, who again is having a great race after retiring from the lead, I believe, in um, Baku. So, he'll be hoping for a slightly better fortune this time around. Well, let's try that move again then, shall we? Run it nice and wide, get that cut underneath. Didn't quite get the drive this time, but we're still close enough to get a move on our one, even though we will have DRS on Kvyat. Here we go. He's going to close up on the Alpha Tari for me. Interesting, he goes defensive through there. I was going to put him on the back foot, but I don't think we've got enough to really make this. We're trying. We pretty much burned off our excess fuel. We'll be back on target soon. Don't wait too long to turn the engine down. Trying all kinds of different moves here, just trying to see if I can put some pressure on Alex. Similar to the first in intermediate. This could be the one right here. We're forcing it a little bit. There it is. Lovely stuff. And we get the DRS as well. Up we go to P5. Hamilton also gets past Albon as well. There we go, nice and tidy through there. Staying nice and close to the Russian. And then towards the hairpin, keep it nice and tidy. There it is, there's that wide line again, which seems to be working quite well for us. We're catching the clear as well. But there we go, the drive was on point through there. We're more than close enough to get this one done. It feels like Kvyat's running out of ERS anyway. He's not as quick on the straight as he was a couple laps ago. And there we go, we get past easily. And we're now up into P4. Mr. Charles Leclerc up next for the podium places and we've still got 15 laps to go that's an interesting one actually Russell in the pit lane I was debating you know going to another set of mediums Bottas pits as well so will Leclerc follow no he doesn't at least not for now so the front two pit as does Kvyat Hamilton stays out so I'm guessing yeah mediums for Russell and Bottas again I mean it's a very reliable tie can't go wrong but there is George he's going to be just behind us I think Yes, he is. We'll try and stay in front of him for now, as I feel like I've got a better pace anyways. Even though my tyres are more warm. I want to try and get past the clear if I can. If George is quicker, we'll let him go. Two phase seems pretty quick. We're going to let him go here. And then we're going to fight him. Let's let George go with it. See if we can chase after Carlos Leclerc. Carlinhos. Charlitos, Leclerc. Russell into the lead, but Leclerc's going to hold on to him, but not for long. And that's going to put now Mr. Charles Leclerc on the back foot here. Let's see if we can try and line him up for a pass. Struggling for a bit of rear traction now. That's a great exit through there, Leclerc. Not getting away too well. I'm curious whether Leclerc might pit or not. We're about to find out. He's got DRS. At the Just focus on the driving. We're just going to blast past in the meantime. There we go, head of Leclerc, he didn't pit, so that was a good move to make. So we're now on net P3. Let's try and follow Russell, we can stay within DRS range. Oh, Giovinazzi out of the race. Leclerc pits, the timing on that could be important, if there's a VSC or something, but it looks like there won't be. We're gonna box this lab. Push hard on the in -lab. Yep, just try and push it. I've dropped it out of Russell's DRS, he's too quick, as he sets a new fastest lap, but still pace is pretty good on these. This has been a great in lap, only two tenths off my personal best. Looks like we should be able to rejoin in a net P3 now after overtaking Leclerc. It's going to be close with him. It depends what kind of outlap Charles has and what kind of traffic he has. But we've had a brilliant in-lap here. Yeah. We're doing okay with the engine. Um, the ICE is the first part to be worn. Um, but we should be okay to get through this race and a few more. Either way, here we go then into the pit lane. Hamilton pits, so does Stroll. Onto the soft tyres we go. Great stop, 2.3. That's exactly what you want. Easily ahead of Leclerc. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. There's Kofi out. 
medium tyres. We're going to rejoin just in front. There we go. We just get ahead. And that gives us a net P3 and a podium finish. Let's go hunt down Bottas and make this a 1-2 for the team. We are absolutely flying on these tyres. The grip is insane. I missed out on qualifying, so this is basically like a qualifying for us as we get a bit loose there through the chicane. Luckily, no wing damage. New fastest lap as well. Another one. Pretty much half a second quicker than anything else from anybody else. We're closing in on Bottas by a second and a half a lap, so this is good stuff. Looks like an even better lap on the cards here. I can do a better job through here, I think. The last lap was a bit scruffy, and that's a lot cleaner. There we go, that's going to be a new fastest lap for us. That should secure the point for sure. Another one. Another 1.1 1 .1 seconds on Bottas that lap. And as DJ Khaled would say, if I can nail the chicane, I believe he says another one. Even better, this one. We're absolutely flying. I'm going to drain the entire battery here. There it is. Another one. The consistency in this tyre is unbelievable. Just pumping in lap after lap after lap. Out to Bottas now, 3.3. We're getting there. He's got a bit of traffic as well. Well, I've got a bit of traffic now in the form of Mick Schumacher. Hopefully he moves, which he does. Getting closer and closer to Bottas now, every single lap. Here we go then, we're going to have DRS on Valtteri for the first time. The only thing is I think Valtteri may have DRS on the Alpha ahead. That's got blue flags. Either way, I'm going to try and close up here and put some pressure on Valtteri. The sooner we get by, the quicker because the tyres are fading. I can feel them losing performance now. So it's important to get this move done into the final chicane. That's perfect. Really good line through there. Here we go. Can we get Valtteri here? Not quite. Running out of deployment across the line didn't help. The Alpha gets out of the way. I'm going to oh, try and keep the pressure on, but we get a bit loose. Again, first time to the tyres are starting to go a little bit. The mediums were a great time. I mean, I was you know, doing pretty much almost a personal best on my in-lap, so that's a great tyre to be on. That was good. I tried a bit of a different line through there. Much earlier apex, using the curb for rotation. Just to try and close the gap, because Bottas did pull away a little bit from us. All right, I'm going to save that last bit of ERS to use across the line. This time we won't drain out. Here we go. Oh, we still drained out across the line. Ugh, I'm trying, but... I don't want to get damaged or anything now. I'd much rather just take a third place and get wing damage at this stage of the race. But we'll keep the pressure on, as always. We'll see if we can force Valtteri into a late mistake, maybe. You never know. Oh, Bottas gets loose. That's the opening. I made a mistake myself, but Bottas made an error. This could be the one. Here we go. We've got plenty of VRS to use. We know the Mercedes is quick, but we're going to blast ahead. Going to move across in the break zone to avoid Valtteri dive bombing me like the AI tend to do in this game. Going to get a nice toe from the Haas here as we get past. There it is. Job done. Happy days. Here we go then. Last lap of the race from last to P2. I will take that. And we've also got the fastest lap. Hopefully we'll hold on to that. We should do. I'm pretty convinced no one's going to beat it. Meanwhile though, Russell dominates from P1 in qualifying to P1 in the race. A commanding performance, and that is what you want to see after a DNF in Baku last time out for George. That is a great response, and his second win of the season. We come home for a phenomenal second place. Okay, good job, mate. Really well done. That was a fantastic drive. They take the chequered flag then here in Canada in what has been another fabulous Grand Prix. What do you think it was, Ants, that gave them the edge over the competition today? Well, they certainly stood out as a driver with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalise on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. A show-stopping performance from the three drivers approaching the podium right now. It's been an interesting Grand Prix, that's for sure.
There it is then guys, that is it for the Canadian Grand Prix. An absolutely incredible performance here today. Both myself and Russell just crushing the opposition. Russell controlling it from the lead and we come from the back of the grid to P2 and pick up the fastest lap. So maximum points and a 1-2 finish here today. Mercedes finished 3rd and 7th which is pretty poor for them. And only one Red Bull in the top 10 with Albon in P6. So in terms of the championship this is going to be huge for us because Verstappen finished in P12. So... Driver's title, we are comfortably out front, 42 points clear of Max and Russell up to third place with that race win and he's 64 points behind me. We then look at the constructor standings and we lead by 53 points over Red Bull Racing and 101 points already over Mercedes after nine races and Ferrari move up to fourth place and Renault move up to seventh. So there we go then guys, that is the race results and standings covered. We're now going to move into the laptop and see if we can try and put on more upgrades for future races. You and your teammate took the top two positions today. Have you got the best car out there? I think we've got one of the better ones, to be honest. I think the car is a really strong package and I think this track really proved that. But the whole team is just fantastic, to be honest. Did you struggle to get through all that traffic today? No, surprisingly, it was really good on the power side of things. You know, the engine was great and that was great. You know, really good to have that kind of feeling of power. Do you think this team are performing as well as they could do? I'm not sure. You'd have to probably ask them. How did your team respond to the poor conditions today? I thought they were class. You know, we, we had a good strategy today and they did a, a great job. Great. Well, that's everything. Well then, another race and another victory in terms of the rivalry breakdown this weekend as we outscore Lewis once more, we now have a six point lead over the seven time world champion with four races remaining on the rivalry. We then move over to the team acclaim. Russell now very close to level 16 in terms of leveling up. Hopefully he'll achieve that in the next episode. And then finally, in terms of the sponsor payouts and also cash bonuses, it's going to be yet another flawless weekend on that front, $1.85 million. And there will be some damage deductions due to my qualifying crash, but still a strong weekend all round for us. Well, here we are then, back on the laptop. First of all, we're going to go to the Activities tab and we're going to sort out a few things. So, first of all, we're going to go for Reaction Training for George Russell. Then, after this Invitational event, we've got uh, a few different activities, but I think, um, looking at different options here, we're just going to go for, I think, a sponsor advertisement. It gives us a bit of a cash injection, which, you know, we don't really need, but then again, it's not a bad thing. Um, we've got quite a few days until the next race in France, 10 days to be exact, so we're going to throw on some more upgrades and again I'm going to work on the durability so if we go over to the engine and we look at the engine where we've got 56% on the ICE, 50% on the MG UK, 46% on the MG UH, 50% uh, on the energy store, turbocharger 51 and control electronics 47 so the most warm part is the ICE so we are going to go ahead and uh, get an ICE upgrade on the car for future races so we'll get that on and hopefully that will arrive soon and uh, we'll save the rest of the points for another hopefully ultimate upgrade very soon. With that said, let's skip ahead guys to the next race in France. We're also going to skip the invitation event as we don't need the acclaim anymore. And uh, yeah, let's jump ahead. Well then guys, there we go. We're ready for the next race, round 10 for the French Grand Prix. We also had a general durability upgrade arrive courtesy of Honda, which is great. So a couple of durability upgrades never goes to miss and that's going to help us out quite a lot. But guys, if you enjoyed today's episode, then smash the like button, subscribe for more daily F1 content on the channel and uh, you know, pretty frequent my team content as well. Finally, check out the two videos on your screen if you have missed them. But guys, that is it from me here today and I will see you all next time. But until then, take care and it's goodbye from me.